Hey guys, this is MTG Degree. My name is Luke, and this last weekend I went to the Star City Open slash Invitational. I played some great side games, watched some amazing matches, but I couldn't play in the main event because I had a wedding to attend instead. Magic artist RK Post was there, and I managed to get an interview from the man himself. Hi Luke, I'm Randy. Nice to meet you, Randy. Nice to meet you as well. Um, so this is the famous RK Post. Relatively famous RK Post. Uh, just, Your grandmother won't know who I am. Yeah, just back from Vegas. Back from Vegas. Apparently yes. awesome. I wish I could have been there. And yes. uh, you've done a lot of famous art over the years for Magic. Yes. So uh, what are a lot of the cards that people ask you to come by and sign? Oh, uh, well, more currently, uh, Full Mater Mage was in Modern Masters 2015. So Full that's Mater Mage, good really card. popular right now. But uh, Icarid's in Dredge. Mm -hmm. uh, Unmasked is in the sideboard in Dredge sometimes. Um, Avatar Glow, they printed like five times. Now you actually did all the avatars, right? All five, yeah. All the avatars, but Avatar of Woe got one all was, of the all Yeah, of one the was worth the damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I noticed that you've even done a couple of basic lands. Yes. Did you Shadowborn. enjoy doing lands? Yeah, it was nice. It was a good change of pace. Um, if you really want to, you can build a really crappy deck out of my cards. <laughs> yeah. Now, you can use a Fulminator Mage, red black. Exactly. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of Newfangled youngins doing magic art yes. these days. Yes. How do you feel about kind of the change in magic art style over time? Um, it adapts. It grows. It it's it's great art. I mean, there's really not much I can say about it. I mean, um, I do love the consistency, the consistency of it. So um, mm -hmm. you you look at a, a set of art from a set and it, it fits together pretty seamlessly. Right. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. Magic is just always evolving, always getting better, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I, think I don't that's think the game would last, what, 21, 22 years. If oh, yeah. It did. If it wasn't doing yeah. good things all the yeah. time. Um, now, if you had tips yes. for people who want to get into magic art, <laughs> okay. That crazy fantasy for other artists, yeah. what would you say to other artists? You can say it directly to mm. those artists. Um, well, hmm. I would say run away and do something else. Not that magic art isn't bad, but the the field of freelance art is, isn't great. Um, the market has changed a lot. Um, a lot of it, not for so many good reasons. And um, other things have changed for very, very good and positive things. Um, just be very focused. Draw and draw a lot, paint, paint a lot. Uh, the more you do, the better you get. Um, and if you have the drive and focus to do that, draw and paint on a consistent basis, then probably have what it takes to do to get silly there. things like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, one quick question for you, which is that I know one of the sure. big changes that's happened over the course of Magic's history is they've actually gone all the way from analog art to digital art. Yeah. Have yeah. you followed that trend, or are you still an analog guy? Um, I was, I was kind of working there at the time when some of the first digital stuff started. Oh, you coming. did very early digital. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it was like an official um, policy change. And, and, and there's guys that still do the traditional art, and they do it very well. Mm -hmm. um, and original art is, is highly coveted. Uh, you've seen some of the prices, oh, yeah, what, what art goes it's, for. It's so. awesome. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you can be digital all day long, but at the end of the day, you're not going to have a you know, piece of art to uh, yeah, so sell on right, exactly. yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're mostly right. a digital guy? Uh, I'm 50-50. So, like, 50 half the career was painted, and the other half was digital. I, I just didn't have a, a good, cohesive place to be, so I was just kind of forced to do digital art okay, for the gotcha. convenience of it. Yeah. Um, and then, last quick question is, sure. can we expect you in the magic art community for a long time to come? I hope so. Hope so? I mean, I like to meet you. All right, well, I hope to see you there, man. Right. It's been good meeting you today. Thanks. It's been you too. Also, if you see RK Post at an event near you, go ahead and get some of these tokens. Look how awesome they are. The next artist that I'd like to feature is Jacqueline. She's a card altarist and does a darn good job. Unfortunately, she had to spend the whole day painting, painting, painting for all the commissions she got on site. So while she didn't have time for an extensive interview, she did have time to let me kind of sneak my camera around and catch her working. She uses the toothpick trick too, guys. Don't worry, those fuzzy borders are not long for this world. With the sharp eye for detail, 
it's not a surprise that so many great alterations come out of her studio. So next time you're at an event and see Jacqueline's booth, stop by and get yourself a quality altar. If you guys would like to learn or get some sweet swag from RK Post or Jacqueline's altars, I've included all the relevant links down in the description. See you guys next video.